um, they don't know you. They're not connected to you anyway. They've been to multiple websites. They're getting called by agents and texted. There are bots texting them and chatting with them. And, and so they are not um, psychologically connected to that. It's easy to dismiss that. There's no psychological connection. We are wired to connect with faces. That's the way we're wired psychologically. Um, so having that that video going out where I'm addressing you as a human being, I'm a human being, that creates psychologically a much higher connection than just words or texts or even just your voice. <laughs> Because the management and transparency is what's very important. So once you submit a referral, you're going to have your own home advantage account, and it's going to tell you where everything sits. So if you have 10 referrals that you've sent into the network, it's going to give you all 10 referrals. It's going to tell you every milestone that that client is sitting in, whether they're touring homes, whether they're in escrow. And you now can manage through the home advantage application as far as what your pipeline looks like for the referrals that you've sent. And so it's pretty sophisticated uh, and it's, it's all click of a button, guys. All right, I think we're live. Hello, Lab Code agents. For those looking to level up their business, crush it, look no further than the video game. And we got two great people here to talk today about video for like how to get involved in videos, especially for newbies. As we get into this, I want to introduce both of these amazing uh, speakers today. Let's go with you, Laura. If you give us a quick introduction of you so that people know why is Laura talking to us about video how has she been qualified to you let's hear from you I'm not qualified. Um, <laughs> I've been I've been in real estate close to 20 years um, I've run brokerages um, my own teams I'm currently with working with Gabe Cordova and Tom Dahlman with core group I've also been a real estate coach for 17 years I've coached agents all over the country including um, even Australia so Love it. Love it. What's your passion about video? I'm sorry? What's what's your passion about video? What's it about video that, that you're here to, excited today to share? Uh, results. The, the Better results. results. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm a bottom line kind of girl. Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Libby, how about you? So I run a team of 10 agents on Cape Cod. I am a producing broker, so I am still working in the field. I'm very excited to be part of this. I'm with Compass. Um, but also a realtor in residence with Wailopo. So I get to meet agents all over the country. And I am incredibly passionate about video because as much as I love the convenience of technology, there's nothing better than connecting with someone. And I've been able to use video as that bridge to connect face-to-face -face with people. Love it. So, you know, we're talking about video. I think all of us in the real estate industry for the past many years have heard, you got to do video, you got to do video, you got to do video. In fact, I'm not even sure if we even need to tell people why they need to do video anymore because it's been out there for so long. But of course, we're going to talk about why to use video and how it's really helping you guys. But I'd really like to start with why are people still hesitant? What is really the barrier to entry with agents of actually getting into the video game? What do you think is the mental block or the objection or the obstacle? I know with, with me, what I find, what I initially found with myself was this perception that I had to be perfect in video. I had to almost be scripted and I had to have a, a whole dialogue that I was going to present in a certain way. And in trying to do that, my videos had no engagement. So if anyone's heard me speak before, I believe in perfectly imperfect videos. Mm -hmm. I like very, very candid, real, driving in my car sort of videos. And I find that I get the most engagement using those. Love that. And when you say video, I mean, we're talking about, you hear a variety of video platforms, you know, Facebook Live, uh, you know, production videos, bomb bomb videos. I mean, you hear YouTube videos, tick, TikTok videos, you hear all of the above, right? And I'm, and I'm thinking I'm going to, before we're done today, want to hear some of your favorite platforms, but I just want to be clear when we're talking video, we're talking a wide variety of things here. Mm -hmm. All right. So Laura, same question to you. Um, what do you think it is the barrier of entry for agents getting into video? What's stopping them? self-conscious um, and like Libya touched on um, 
thinking that it has to be this high quality production and that you have to have all this equipment and special software and know how to edit and do all this other stuff. And quite frankly, it, you just don't need all of that. Um, I, I agree with Livia, uh, imperfectly perfect. Is that what you said? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> Either way it works. <laughs> I call it just being real. It's sort of like um, those, those real estate photos and I'm guilty of this. They're 20 years old. And when the person meets you face to face, the, oh, you don't look the way I thought you did. Video, uh, videos are the same way. It's, it's, it's being yourself. And the whole point of, of the video is to help you connect with someone that you would not otherwise be able to connect with. And in my opinion, being yourself is the best way to connect. Okay, so we've determined, and I do agree with you guys. I think it is uh, self-conscious um, thought processes that stop people from jumping into video. Or, or, and I think it's also a little bit of um, you know overanalyzing paralysis analysis, right? They're uh, paralysis by analysis, they overthink it. And therefore, it never really comes into production. Um, how many, when you say self -conscious, self conscious, let's be honest, how many people just hate the way they look and sound on video? They look at it and go, oh, I would never want to put that out there. Uh, when the reality is, everybody else already knows how you look and sound. And <laughs> that's, you're not going to fool anybody, right? So um, let's start getting into like, we've, we've talked about what the barrier of entry is, you know, and I think everybody feels that. They all feel like, I know I should, but I'm not. What advice would you give somebody that feels that? Like, what, what do you say to them to get over it, to get the first ones out there? I think start with something simple. Yep, exactly what I was just going to say. Simplify the process. How so? Like, give, give me a couple of examples. What would be simple that they, like an agent that's thought about doing it and never has done it, knows they should. What's the first simple thing they should do? So I think the number one thing you can do if you want to just get off the couch and start doing it, Create an evergreen video, a timeless, I mean, obviously not timeless in that you're going to have to update it every couple of months. You want to look like yourself, but make sure you're in an area where you can't tell what time of day it is. You don't have a clock behind you. You don't have a calendar. You, you could be any time of day dress accordingly. Don't be in a turtleneck sweater versus, you know, something very summery. And just introduce yourself. My my intro video is honestly, it's I think 38 seconds. And it just says, hi, thank you so much for checking out homes on my search site. I want to let you know I'm a real person, boots on the ground here on Cape Cod. And I really want to get to know you better. Shoot me back a quick email and let me know what your criteria is. And all I'm doing is just saying, this is me. I'm a real person. If you do nothing else, start with that and use that in connecting with new people that are registering in your database. Love it. Uh, how about you? I got started, I got started uh, doing holiday greetings, right? I felt comfortable just doing an evergreen sort of Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. What, and I was comfortable doing those and embedding them in emails and sending them out. That's how so, I uh, you know, get my toe in. A couple of questions coming in and they're saying, well, what is evergreen? I want to explain that real quick. What that means is it's pretty much timeless, right? Like evergreen. It, it never really dies in the winter. It has to be reborn, right? It, it's timeless. So uh, Libby, what are you talking about too? How you're having a room that you can't really tell what time of day and night it is, what season it is. That way you can deploy that as a canned video over and over and over again without having to change it. And one thing I think video, and I, I want to really hit home on this too, what it provides is leverage. You don't have to keep recreating the wheel. You can you can grow your business and scale it and reach more people. You know, you can reach 500 people by phone by dialing 500 times. You can reach 500 people by video by one evergreen video with much more ease, right? So it, it's leverage, right? Yeah. Okay. And that, what you just said is actually something I'm going to parlay off of my first thing, the intro video. I would also challenge you when you're doing that, it's going to take a total of maybe 10 minutes to do both of these. Do an intro video, but also that if there is one thing that you're finding in your market, you're saying more than three times to people, Thank you. whether it be something local, something about zoning, something about neighborhood, if you've repeated it more than three times and you've begun to mentally script it, create a video for that. Yep. Love that. Love that. So, you know, a couple other comments are coming in already. Um, you know, yes, people are saying there's there's difficulty in getting started for subconscious reasons, but also they don't know where to start logistically, right? What platforms do I use? How do I integrate it? How do I get some traction on it? So I think people overthink this problem again, 
instead of just going out there and building the plane as we fly it, to start getting video out there and tweaking it, the process, they, they, they're thinking to themselves, well, I don't know exactly what to do with this. So therefore, I'm just going to not do it. In a so, way. That's yeah, an awesome way. question so, because we've talked about doing like an introductory video, but where does it go, right? right? And then what do you use to make that video so you can make it go wherever? Right. So first of all, where are we going to use these videos? Um, when new leads come in, the introductory video, um, you in a lot of your CRMs, you can add an introductory uh, text video into the drip campaign so that they're being greeted by you as soon as they come into your website. Um, in emails, these things can be embedded in emails and texts. Um, what about um, your social media? You know, Livia talked about the three things you keep repeating. You find yourself that this is a subject that you're talking about a lot. Uh, do the video, send an email, send it by text, put it in your YouTube channel, do something for TikTok. You can embed these videos, but I think if we're talking about people who are a little nervous about getting started, create the video and put it in a text message or an email that's part of your drip campaign when you get new leads in. And I would say logistically, that's the easiest way to get started. As far as tools go, there's a very inexpensive tool that integrates with uh, a lot of the real estate CRMs out there. And I'll let uh, Livia share that tool with you because I'm blah, 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 talking. Oh, you're so funny. No, I'm like, I'm totally listening where I'm like, yes, we can do this. Um, yeah, so I personally, Mike, I use BombBomb. Bomb. It's mm -hmm. very easy for me. Um, it's, it's an app. It takes me five seconds. I can send it right from BombBomb. Bomb. I can create newsletters right in BombBomb. Bomb. But in my personal business, I use Follow-Up Boss as my CRM. And BombBomb Bomb and Follow-Up Boss beautifully integrate. So for me, when I'm doing these videos that I want to go out repetitively to people, like let's say it's the welcome to my website, I use BombBomb Bomb and then I integrate that BombBomb Bomb video into an action plan within Follow-Up Boss. And that way it's operating for me behind the scenes. There, um, I see people are saying, how do you spell BombBomb? Bomb? It's B-O-M-B-B-O-M-B.com. -B -B it's it's so easy. I found it at a real estate conference with Wailopo and I love it. Um, so that's number one. But number two, for texting, if you feel completely confused how to begin, we all have smartphones. Mm -hmm. So worst case scenario, start doing videos on your smartphone and start sending them out and seeing the response you get back. It is a beautiful thing to have your video go out and someone respond back to you feeling comfortable with you, you have begun the process of creating trust between you and this person you've yet to meet. Well, you so, brought up responses. So uh, I know that uh, Olivia pulled up some statistics earlier. So yeah. we're all, when we get leads coming in, uh, I think the biggest challenge we have is getting a, a, a conversation started with them you know, they're not answering their phones. Maybe they're, you know, you're emailing them. They're not responding. Um, you had shared a stat with Mike and I earlier, Livia, the difference between normal written communication versus, versus video. response rates on videos. Yeah, it's huge. So when you think about most of us know that it takes 10 touches to connect with a person that comes in via the internet that we haven't yet met. They did a study and it has decreased that by 70%. It's an average of three touches if you're using video to connect with a person. That's tremendous. Another stat they had- Before you, is uh, Livia, before you move on from that, let me just make one other point to that because when you're making those calls and it takes up to 10, it's like 80% of people answer between, I think it was like call number you know, uh, eight and 10, right? So that, that's the majority of the answer rate, but the agent's um, uh, attempt rate is between one and three. So there's a huge disconnect in phone calls of where agents are done and buyers are ready to pick the phone up. And what we're talking about is out, and I want I want this to be very clear to everybody, video solves that problem tremendously, you know, and, and that's that's one of the reasons you're gonna have such higher conversion on the videos. Yep. And another stat that they gave is it's a 6% average lead conversion. These are like top producing teams that are just working it. Average 6% with video goes up to 10%. So, I mean, these are really powerful stats, but
But I also wanted to share a quick anecdote about why I got into video at that conference. Um, so I was going to a conference and I was, you know, it, it's mid session and you're walking through the vendors and everyone that has their stand set up. And I see a gentleman across the hall and I went, Jason, hey, and I'm walking across the hall to him. And about halfway across, I see his face and my brain kicks in and I went, holy crap, he doesn't know me. I watched his video to me. So I think I know him, but yep. he has no idea who I am. So as that final 15 steps up to him happened, I was sold. I was like, okay, I get it. I completely felt like I knew who you were because you had talked to me by name in a video and it didn't dawn on me until I saw your face that you had no idea who I was. I need my clients to feel that connected to me. So you, you keep saying connected. Video makes you feel connected. Let's back up for a second, talk about what does that mean? What do you mean by video makes them feel connected? Well, we live in a world of um, spam and text messages and marketing and noise. Um, and so when, I'm gonna, and I'm putting this in the setting of you're generating leads, you're trying to communicate with your, you know, your potential customers and clients. Um, they don't know you. They're not connected to you anyway. They've been to multiple websites. They're getting called by agents and texted. There are bots texting them and chatting with them. And, and so they are not um, psychologically connected to that. It's easy to dismiss that. There's no psychological connection. We are wired to connect with faces. That's the way we're wired psychologically. Um, so having that, that video going out where I'm addressing you as a human being, I'm a human being, that creates psychologically a much higher connection than just words or texts, or even just your voice. I love that you said that. I mean, even if you have a face for radio like me, you're still gonna do a lot better on video than, than not. That's what we're saying. It's amazing too. think about why TikTok, Reels, why is that such a rage? It's because you're seeing other human beings and you feel connected to them in some way. It's completely different than reading an article. Like we all pick up the news and we read it. But if we watch someone telling it to us, we feel a different response. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help people increase their ROI. We're already spending the money to cultivate these relationships with people. We want them to jump to the front of the line by actually becoming a real person to these people instead of just what could. I mean, how many of us, when we're responding to a text now, wonder, is this AI or is this yeah. a real person? Mm -hmm. The second they see a face, it's a real person. The, uh, well, the, that's the interesting thing about BombBomb Bomb is it embeds it, um, at least in the emails, to where it's your face there on the, when they open the email. It's not a link. It's embedded. So they see your face before they even click to listen to what you have to say. And the view rates, the view rates and the engagement rates on those emails are 10 times higher than what it's going to be on a, on a form email all day long. And they keep coming back and looking at it, like the multiple yeah. opens and the multiple clicks on those videos. That's what is crazy to me. They keep clicking on it. You know, guys, you keep, we keep hearing about leads, right? So we, I, I've heard both of you talk about, you know, we're spending money on leads and leads and leads, but let's talk real quick, especially about getting agents started in video. There's a lot of agents that don't do a lot with leads. They work with their own SOI, their own sphere of influence, their own past clients and referral sources. One thing that I always thought it's a great way to get started in video is, you know, when you close a deal with somebody, send them a follow-up video the next day. Uh, yep. When you get a referral from someone, don't just text thank you, send them a video, like get in the habit of communicating through video and pretty soon it goes from communication to video, then to marketing with video, and from marketing video, even advertising, paid advertising through video, you can graduate up the scale, but it might make you feel more comfortable to start on, on like more even playing with people you know. Think well, about what you just said too. So closing, right? And you're sending a video. When we're asking for that five-star review, how powerful is it to do it by video versus just it's like when you're at a closing and you see the lender just slip a postcard into the, the folder and you think you're never going to get it versus saying do you mind writing a review for me right now it's like oh oh okay she wants it right now so there's some tremendous things that you can do with video 
Genius. Genius. So let's talk about I'm a new agent. I have no lead source. Mm -hmm. How can I can I leverage video to get leads in? And the answer is absolutely yes. So so far we've only been talking about texting and emailing. What about your social media platform? Mm -hmm. And Mike brought up earlier the the most watched videos are how to videos. Isn't that what yeah. you said, Mike? Yeah, I'm saying on YouTube. When you go to when someone goes to YouTube and searches for something. The vast majority of how that that search starts out is how to how to do this or that right. So what's trending in real estate right now? You know how to get the lowest uh, interest rate for mortgage. You know how to sell a home in today's market. Like find what's trending, create some how to videos, and now you're driving, you're building a YouTube channel and driving your own traffic there. That's a huge piece. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, uh, what is Instagram? Instagram all the, I'm old people, so I have to keep up with all this, but using videos to generate business for yourself is another way to use videos. Put yourself out there uh, through social media, through all the different platforms. Um, you know, I want to comment on your, your guys' uh, you know, statement of, hey, it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, Libya, once again, with your statement, imperfectly perfect is how do you, how do you say that, right? Yeah. So there's an agent in my marketplace. I'm not going to name any names, but they're Facebook Live. They're just on Facebook Live all the time. And they'll be sitting in a lawn chair, standing in their front yard, uh, hair up in rollers. It doesn't matter. It is like, I'm just going to go off and, and just start talking on video. And the amount of business this agent does, it's staggering from it, but most of it because she's staying in front of her own relationships yep. authentically and people love it, you know, but that's where you have to kind of defeat the, the self-consciousness and just get out there and do it. I, I went through all my videos and one of my most watched videos and, and she shared it, she admitted she shared it, but she loved it. It was me talking about the market. And as I'm in the middle of talking about it, my daughter's foot just started going like this. She was in her car seat behind me and her little foot comes up and just starts waving. And my brain went, oh, do it again. But then I went, no, you know what? I don't have time. I'm pulling up to pick up my other daughter. I'm in the school pickup line. So I just went, sorry, in the school pickup line, but I thought this was really important for everyone to know. And that people loved because I'm a real person. I'm a mom, I'm in school pickup line, but I still know my industry incredibly well. It, it takes that poised, almost too finessed approach where you feel untouchable and, and too salesy. And it makes you a real person. After all, we're their advisor and they want someone real and someone that knows what they're talking about. No, and no. I'll tell you what, if you have a sense of humor, and you're able to, to play off of that sense of humor. Some of the most watched videos are very imperfectly imperfect. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt. It, you know, and kind of jumping topics on that, you know, when you think about platforms, a couple of people are asking, well, what platforms do you use? And, you know, this is really geared more towards new people getting into video. So I don't want to go too advanced or over anybody's head, but you start getting into things like, you know, reels, or you start looking at things like TikTok. And what's really hitting fat right now is fast, entertaining, videos that it's like speed over over uh you know quality not e even over quality speed yeah. fast they want to see things that are entertaining and we're seeing things that are uh, when you're combining that with education and i think with real estate right now you're finding with the market shift that's happened uh people are looking for quality agents they're looking for people that are, are beyond door owners they want to yeah. know that you have something to offer so agents that are getting out there and they're putting together great reels uh great TikTok videos things that are educational snappy fast they're gaining traction you know, so I do want I do want to mention that. Well, and the other thing is you kind of have to be snappy and fast. And, and what I would say is if certain platforms like YouTube, you don't have to worry about so much, but mm -hmm. certain platforms, you have to come out quick and grab their attention. And mm -hmm. uh, one mistake that I see that agents make or people in general is they take too long introducing themselves before they ever get to the topic shoot out the gate with a question, something shocking, something attention grabbing, something funny. Um, and then you can introduce yourself, but you're going to hit the subject pretty quick and you, you don't do. want your videos to be too long. No, and you don't. Videos being sent to a person, new person registering, person you're trying to establish a relationship with, person you're about to meet, try to keep it 30 seconds or less. It's um, if they see a minute video, it's kind of like, oh, I'll watch it later. If it's a quick video, it's like, oh, what is this? So, and I know some of the people asked, how do you do it without using say bomb bomb? Don't discredit your cell phone. Use right. your cell phone, record a video and just text that video over. It is, so people, 
not everyone loves that because if their phone saves the videos and it's using storage. So that's why some of these other resources are so valuable. It's just a link. It's not occupying space on the recipient's phone. But if you want to get started and try it out, use your cell phone and just yep. record a video. Put it on YouTube. Put it on Instagram. Put it on TikTok. That video can be embedded in multiple places and you'll start yeah. to see how people interact. Yeah, no, so you don't to have that. to go out and get any special software. Mm, you no, have it no. right yeah, here. You right don't there. have to spend more money. Start with this, get into the habit. Once you know you will continue with this, then invest the time and money into something better. No doubt. You know, I see a lot of people getting started in video too, uh, where they're getting more comfortable, especially going beyond the personalized video that goes to, you know, a past client or something of that nature. They get out there more public facing, especially with the technology today that's right on your phone or right on platforms. You can that you get the editing right there. You don't even have to speak. You can literally do videos that are backed by music and graphics, and you can get your first ones out there without even saying a word. Um, I've that, actually seen some very compelling videos where it's just the person making faces and there's something recorded in the background yep. that they're like, hmm, hmm, they're making faces. <laughs> and those are always like, those are interesting to me as well. No, but they'll, yeah. catch your, they'll catch your attention. And that's what those first videos, it's really just getting yourself out there, capturing some attention, getting your feet wet. And that's a great way to do it. Yeah. And I came up with five different ways that I think people, if you haven't gotten started, I think it's five different areas. You don't have to do all five, but there are ways that you can get your feet wet. The first one is the evergreen video, an introduction. The second one is challenge yourself to send five custom videos to people. And what I mean by that is take a piece of paper, write their name on it, hold it up when you're sending the video. So, hey, Laura, put the paper down. It's Livia. I just wanted to reach out. We haven't yet connected, but I'm so excited to get to know you more. Tell me more about your home search story. Tell me more about how your kids are. Tell me more about how things are going. Just whoever, the five people you're sending it to, try to make it personal. The third point was adding to a YouTube library, share it on Instagram and Facebook. And, and for content with that, think about the things that you've said more than once and let the, I mean, more than three times and let those be your content. So I live in a beach area. Talk about the beaches. There's new proposed regulations. Talk about what it might mean for property values. We've got incredible tools. Now we use Ylopo and there are some insane tools. Talk about what those tools do. Why, why does it benefit a consumer? Number four was follow-up videos. And what I mean by that is you do an open house, record a video thanking them for coming to the open house. Have the house behind you, do it on your phone. Thank you so much for coming through this gorgeous home. I hope you really enjoyed it. Show the house so they know it's in real time. Send that. And then the fifth one was send one video to each new person you're meeting. So you have a showing scheduled. Take your phone. Hi, I just want to let you know who you're about to meet. My name is Livia. I'm going to see you at 123 Main Street. I just didn't want confusion when you pull up if you weren't sure which one was me. Love <laughs> I it. love it. You were talking about the tools, right? A lot of us have websites um, uh, and other tools that we use. Uh, Libby and I are both with Ylopo, so we have a lot of um, tools from Ylopo that are for our clients. Um, so we like to do videos that teach them, for example, how do I save a property or how do I find certain properties on your website, right? So you do a little video. If you save a property, it goes here. If you're looking for reduced or foreclosures, you go here. It, it just showing them how to use your website or showing them uh, what you can do if you're, you're uh, what am I, courting a seller? Yeah. Um, and you don't want to wait till you get to the listing presentation. I tease them out with some of our marketing tools. Like Mike, I think you're with Wilopo as well. Like our yeah, heat yeah. map. I'll take the heat map, map break it yeah. down. Um, so using video sometimes um, helps you, can help you get your foot in the door by showing them what your value is. What tools do you have to help a seller? How, uh, how do you use my website? Just anything that you're using with clients, show them how to use it. 
You know, I think um, last year we ended with about 1.6 million realtors in the country, right? And what happens is we have kind of what we call the sea of sameness. So many of them yeah. are indistinguishable from each other. Yeah. I mean, the way that they approach, uh, you know, prospecting, lead generation, uh, presentations, talking points, you might as well interchange one person from the other. It's absolutely the same. What I love about video and the idea you're talking about is you're out there showing a clear differential. I've got a platform that nobody else is talking about. Here's what it actually does. You hear people say this, I, I advertise on social media, but here's what mine actually does. Here's my actual platform. Here's the right. results of it. it. It literally takes you out of that sea of sameness and makes you different. Um, I cannot tell you the value of that, uh, in my opinion, as a consumer, seeing somebody when you just cannot distinguish between you know the value and you see someone now you can, that's huge, that's game changer. It is, definitely. Well, we are dang near at time here. I wonder if there's any I questions. Know. We, did, uh, <laughs> we did good. We, did, uh, <laughs> we got through more than I thought we would. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping that we could we could get it all. Um, all right. So I think people had some uh, questions on content. Like, what if, what, what if you don't know what to say? Where do you find content? What's, you know, I think this is, again, the overthinking thing where, you know, there's a million content points you can go with. You really oh, can't yeah. be wrong. You really can't what? be wrong. The media provides us content constantly, especially mm -hmm. in our current real estate market. And I think one of the, the coolest things we can do is real estate is hyper-local. So is. what they're seeing in the national news um, may not be the case in your current market. It, so there's a ton of content right there. There is, um, there is. Holidays, like I said, I got started just by, you know, wishing people happy holidays or happy 4th of July or, or on their birthday. Um, Somebody I saw mentioning chat GPT. I've been playing around with that as well, which has been very interesting and a lot of fun. Um, you could go there and, and, and find awesome. content. content. Yeah. You could go to some other top selling real estate agents, YouTube, and look at what their content is and, and get ideas and bounce off of that. Yeah. I think it also comes down to intention too, because you know different things you put out might have the intention of just more brand awareness, just keeping people top of mind during the business. Some things might be much more of a direct lead generation, uh, you know, attempt. Some things might be more of education. You're, uh, you know, again, separating yourself from, from your competition through education. Some might be special offers and services, products and services that other people don't talk about very much, but but you do. Um, you know, so it's things like that. You can kind of differentiate well, your message. Life, people don't buy houses, they buy lifestyle, Correct. right? So mm -hmm. what are, what are, you know, in certain areas, what, what are some of the businesses in the, in the area? What are some of the great restaurants? Is there a dog park? I mean, all of that kind of stuff is also content and high you know, you, There's no end of it. There's content upon content upon content. It's really about how you determine to use it and what your audience is, who it's going to. Yeah. And if you think about if you were sitting in front of this person, how would you initiate a conversation? What would you talk to them about? Use that. Pretend you are sitting in front of someone and use whatever comes to mind. I did. So in the email that is a follow-up that's going to be circulated, I decided to just challenge and see how long it was going to take to re-record all my videos to share with this. So I just did the four top videos I used. It took me no more than 10 minutes. And you're going to see the links come through. So it's just a template version of what I say that gets responses. So if nothing else, Try one of those and see if it works in your market. But I'm not lying when I say it took me no more than 10 minutes. This is not a time consuming commitment to use video. It is a time saving commitment to use video. So well, here's what I'm going to say on that. Um, I'm a big proponent of, of time blocking. So mm. if something is important to me, it's going into my calendar and I'm going to do it. So I would say, Super easy way to get started. Well, I know I want to do that uh, hello, welcome email or, or video. That's a super easy one, 30 seconds or less. Hi, I'm Laura. Um, just wanted to put a face to the name, um, whatever. Libya has better scripts than I do. <laughs> but basically the welcome, that's super easy, 30 seconds or less. Um, what else would you say would be super easy, Libya? So do a welcome, do a we haven't yet connected. There you that's, go. that's an incredible one. Go through your database of people that you've tried those, you know, you need 10 touches, you've done three, try this video. 
Um, that's another one. And then I really think if nothing else, try the personal, you're driving to meet someone, get in your car, turn your video on and just say, hi, my name is Livia. I'm going to meet you at 123 Main Street in about five minutes. And I just want you to know who I am. Break the ice for yourself with seeing yourself on video, hearing yourself. And you'll see the response when you walk up, the familiarity that you created with a five second video to that unknown person. You want right. to hear a funny three, uh, a video that one of my agents just did. Um, she had an appointment set to talk with the lead, a strategy call. The lead did not show up for their appointment. She sent a video and said, um, she simply said, did you change your mind? Are you, it was just three words. Did you change your mind? And they responded to her right away. Um, so I thought that was an interesting. Uh, so when you're, the, the reason I brought it up is don't overthink it. Um, keep it super simple. I would say start, like it said, like Livia said, start with the introductions, start with that follow-up one. And then I would say, find a news article that um, you feel like needs to be clarified and pull and, and do a video about why you disagree with the article or why you agree with the article and what what do you feel how do you feel that's going to affect your customers in your local market i think uh also too i would say um since we're talking about uh you know why lopo a minute ago uh lopo's lead resident and realtor resident barry jenkins who also just recently released the book too nice for sales which is a really excellent book um just some of his approaches uh, how he's engaging, uh, you know, what you'd call uh, leads that are not going to purchase for a while. People are sort of in that top of funnel beginning of the uh, of the entire process. Um, if you took some of his wording scripting and turn that into videos, yep. I, I'm going I'm to wager that you can probably you're probably going to shorten your conversion cycle quite a bit with those videos because you're not going to be burning through the contact attempts and, and, you know, burning out on this on these clients or these yep. prospects. That's well, when you talk to the agents, we stink at long-term nurture. If they're not going to be ready to buy in six months, mm -hmm. back burner and never call them again. Where if you have a series of videos and, and it, you can nurture those people without it taking up too much of your time. Correct. You shorten that whole conversion cycle. Even if they don't buy for a while, you get locked in. You're going to convert more of them faster. Exactly. Yeah. And remember, assume people are just looking. That's okay you still want to be a real person to them. So that the video is almost more for the just looking people because you probably won't be meeting them right away. And so mm -hmm. you want to use the video to create that sense of loyalty to you as their skilled agent, their skilled advisor, so that when they do walk into the open house and the agent says, do you already have an agent? They're going to have a little ping of conscience. They've seen my face. They know me. I repeatedly reach out to them. I think I'm working with Livia. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's how I use it. I use it to get in front of them for real in real time. Well, speaking of real time, we keep going over time here. We should probably <laughs> wrap it up. We talk all day. Seriously over time. We could just hang out all day. We do that. Um, all right. Thanks again. Thank we got a lot of thank you comments from everybody that was watching. Thanks for everybody showing up. Thanks, th thank you to you two for showing up and imparting the knowledge. We'll let you guys get back to your day and catch you on the next oh. one. Thanks, Thanks Mike. for having us. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye.